continue to squeeze back and put your hand and make room and then come back. Okay? So here we go, white sleeve hill. Okay.
Good morning. Welcome to the Basilica of the National Shrine of the Immaculate Conception. We ask that you help us to preserve a reverent atmosphere by turning off all pagers, cell phones, and other electronic devices, holding your applause until all graduate names have been called, and by taking photographs from your seat in an effort to keep the aisles clear. We remind you that the Blessed Sacrament is reserved here and ask that your behavior be a reflection of your respect for our Lord. Thank you.
Welcome to the graduation of the class of 2017. I would now ask if our principal, Mr. Tom Campbell, would come forward and you may be seated. On behalf of Dr. Barker, Father Tom, and our faculty and staff, it is my pleasure to welcome you to the 57th commencement of Our Lady of Good Counsel High School. We welcome especially this morning the members of the class of 1967 who join us in commemoration of their 50th reunion. It is certainly an honor to have multiple generations of Falcons here to celebrate the accomplishments of the class of 2017. Seniors, bear with me for a moment as I reference a pop culture figure that you are most likely not familiar with, but whom your parents are most likely to know quite well. In 1988, Rod Stewart, in collaboration with Bob Dylan, released his top 20 hit, Forever Young. The video for the song featured the singer passing on his wishes for success in life to a young child, explaining that whatever road the child chose in life, he would always be remembered in the heart of the singer for his youth and promise. As I thought about my remarks for this morning, this song came to mind, as the message is very true for both your parents and teachers alike. During the course of the past 18 years, your parents have loved you, taught you what they could, and have done what they thought was best for you. They have supported you in times of need and celebrated with you in times of success. Today, when your parents look at you, they see the mature young adult prepared to take on the challenges of college and ready for what life will throw at you. But when your parents blink, they see the baby that was born at the end of the 20th century. The 90s truly did save the best for last. They see the toddler shortly before September 11, 2001, change the world overnight, and for whom multiculturalism was defined by Dora the Explorer and international mindedness by that Australian supergroup, the Wiggles. <laughs> Again, your parents blink, and they see the young child for whom Webkins and Club Penguin were the first introduction to social media. They blink and see the middle schooler whose entire concept of high school was shaped by the exploits of Troy and Gabriella at East High, where students broke out into song, problems were resolved in two hours, and where, as Wildcats, they were all in this together. As an aside, a review of yearbook quotes revealed that at least one of you has learned through experience that, and I quote, this was nothing like High School Musical. Your parents then look at you again and see you as you are today, filled with promise and potential, having achieved so much and well prepared for what lies ahead. Likewise, the men and women seated on the altar behind me look at you this morning with pride, knowing that for the past four years, they have cared for you, taught you what they could, and tried to do what they thought best for you. Our faculty and staff look at the fine young men and women you have become and can't help but see the wide-eyed, naive freshmen trying to figure out just how those lockers open. We see the much more confident sophomore striving to decide who you are and what you want to be. We see the junior engaging fully in retreat coming to a deeper sense of your relationships with God, with your peers, and with yourself. We see the senior who has figured it out, who has become a leader in the community, who is now rightfully confident, and who has come to a more significant understanding of what we mean when we say the loving good person, even alone, can make a difference. And today we see before us the high school graduate, ready, willing, able, 
and enthusiastically prepared not just to go to college, but to succeed there and to succeed in life. We look at you, we remember who you were, we love you for who you are, and we anticipate with excitement all that you will become. As you prepare to leave us, I encourage you to remain forever young at heart, to hold on to your enthusiasm, your energy, and your optimism for the future. I urge you to continue to make a difference in your community as you have made a difference in ours, to touch others' lives as you have touched ours, to continue to nurture the enduring personal relationships that have begun during the past four years in the Zaverian tradition, to continue to believe that you have something to contribute to the world and that you will make a difference. If you believe it, it will be so. I ask you to maintain your youthful focus on developing the gifts God has given you and to use those gifts and pay them forward, to find your passion and to pursue it with all your heart. I implore you now, as I did almost four years ago, to pray to Mary, Our Lady of Good Counsel, in times of indecision, in times of stress, and in times of need. Pray the words that appear on our seal, Faciet Maria Nos Videri, Mary, make us to see, to see the path God has in store for your life and to be the person you are meant by God to be. I draw to a close this morning with some of the words from Rod Stewart's song. May the good Lord be with you down every road you roam and may sunshine and happiness surround you when you're far from home. And may you grow to be proud, dignified, and true, and do unto others as you'd have done to you. And when you finally fly away, I'll be hoping that I served you well. For all the wisdom of a lifetime, no one can ever tell. But whatever road you choose, I'm right behind you, win or lose. Ladies and gentlemen of the class of 2017, as parents and educators, we hope that we have served you well and will certainly always be behind you wherever life takes you. You may no longer live with your parents or attend school on Old Vic Boulevard, but know that these places will always be your home and be places where you are supported and loved regardless of where you are in life's journey. Once a falcon, forever a falcon. We began your time at Good Council four years ago in the context of the Mass. Let us end your time in the same way, with prayers of thanksgiving for all you have achieved and in anticipation for all you will yet contribute to our world. Know that as parents and as educators, we are proud of you for who you are and if you continue to be what God intends you to be, we can't wait to see how you will set the world ablaze. May God bless you for all that you have contributed to Good Counsel and in all of your future endeavors. God bless. Please stand. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace and peace of God the Father, the love of Jesus Christ, and the unity of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with, your spirit. with a mix of emotions, the Holy Spirit draws us together on this rare, holy, and wonderful occasion. On this day that blends joy and a little sorrow, we turn to the Lord, who gives us life and intelligence and compassion, who one day will reunite us in paradise. Lord Jesus, you call us to unselfish service. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you watch over us all our days. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. 
Lord Jesus, you give us a vision of eternal joy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, you know that our thoughts on earth are full of fear and uncertainty. Through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, from whom your Son took flesh and blood, send us the gift of counsel to teach us how to discern your will and to guide us in all we do. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Revelation. Then God's temple in heaven was opened and the ark of his covenant could be seen in the temple. There were flashes of lightning, rumblings and peals of thunder, an earthquake and a violent hailstorm. A great sign appeared in the sky, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet and on her head, a crown of 12 stars. She was with child and wailed aloud in pain as she labored to give birth. Then another sign appeared in the sky. It was a huge red dragon with seven heads and 10 horns and on its heads were seven diadems. Its tail swept away a third of the stars in the sky and hurled them down to earth. Then the dragon stood before the woman about to give birth to devour her child when she gave birth. She gave birth to a son, a male child, destined to rule all the nations with an iron rod. Her child was caught up to God and his throne. The woman herself fled into the, des into the desert where she had a place prepared by God that there she might be taken care of for 1260 days. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven say, now how have salvation and power come and the kingdom of our God, and the authority of his anointed. For the accuser of our brothers is cast out, who accuses them before our God day and night. The word of the Lord.
My sisters and brothers, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary of Magdala. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. Dear class of 2017, students, graduates, some I call friends, soon to be graduates of Our Lady of Good Counsel, parents, family, friends, and esteemed colleagues. I would like to speak to those graduating today, but you too may find this applicable. I would ask if you would remember when you first began at Our Lady of Good Counsel. Father Barry began with challenging you to realize how fast your four years would go. A blink, I believe, is the term he used. Back four years ago, many of you have been anxious, a bit fearful, worried about this future and experience. In the four years that have now passed, you have grown in so many ways, physically, academically, athletically, in the arts, socially, in faith, but most of all, I hope, in wisdom. Wisdom, which is that knowledge combined with faith and experience. What seemed to bring worries, fears, and anxieties today, I pray, turn to joy, celebration, and a realization of new possibilities. The experiences you have had over these short four years, I hope make you very mindful of the many blessings which have been yours. Be grateful and seek ways to give back, to serve. You are entering a new stage in life. Time will continue to be a blink. Do not let it be without results. A new song that I listen to is by Mike and the Mechanics. It offers a visual sense that you may wish let run through your head. It is called, Let Me Fly. If you would take this in an allegorical and spiritual sense and challenge you to find the wisdom it offers, the chorus is, so let me fly, let me fly, oh let me fly, if I don't try, I will never know. Let me fly. Let me fly. Oh, let me fly. See how far I can go. And let me dream. Let me dream. Let me dream. I can be who I want to be. Let me fly. Let me fly. Oh, let me fly. See how high I can go. Our hope for you is to be able to fly, to dream, to be who you want to be. Allow Jesus to help you find the fullness of your life. As in the gospel, we heard Jesus gives us others for our journey. We know often in our life, we have been afraid to take that risk of faith, 
of the possibility of being wrong, unwilling to try, unwilling to fly, unwilling to dream. How often in fear did you hold back, not raise your hands or try a new activity or speak to somebody who seemed to be distant? I challenge you as you enter a new stage of life to grow in faith, faith in God, faith in yourself. Jesus has faith in you. You are loved. May you allow that love of Jesus to grow within you. I would like to borrow a few excerpts from Pope Francis in his recent TED talk. The future you, while looking at tomorrow, it invites us to open a dialogue today, to look at the future through a you. The future you. The future is made of yous, it is made of encounters because life flows through our relations with others. A little further, he says, first and foremost, I would love it if this meeting could help to remind us that we all need each other. None of us is an island, an autonomous and independent I separated from the other. And we can only build the future by standing together, including everyone. We don't think about it often, but everything is connected and we need to restore our connections to a healthy state. My graduates, recall on Sunday at the Senior and Mother Mass in the homily, the image used by the mother of a very successful college basketball coach. When he graduated high school, as you do today, she told him to remember, get on the right bus with the right people and go in the right direction. Do not be afraid to take risks, to fly, to dream, grow in your faith, make good choices each day, live the values you have been brought up within your family and your family of Our Lady of Good Counsel. Make a difference, excel, serve, and love. Know that we at Our Lady of Good Counsel will be keeping you in prayer each day. My dear graduates and friends, may the road rise to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face. May the rain gently fall upon you. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. Please stand. with thanksgiving for the past and confidence in the future. We mark the beginning of a new start in life and we call on the Lord to help us in our needs. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For Pope Francis, Cardinal Wuerl, and all who lead and minister to God's people, may their example of faith and service inspire men and women to seek to minister in the church, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For peace in the world, for refugees, immigrants, and migrants, for all those whose lives are touched by violence or natural disasters, in a special way, we remember the people of Syria and the entire Middle East. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, our hear our prayer. For the sick, the addicted, and the depressed, for the infirm, the homebound, and the imprisoned, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. 
for our graduates, that as they leave good counsel, may they always give witness to the Zavarian values of simplicity, humility, compassion, zeal, and trust. We pray. Lord, we are our prayer. In thanksgiving for the parents and families of the graduates whose sacrifice and love have made all the difference, we pray. Lord, we are our prayer. For the administration, faculty, and staff of Our Lady of Good Counsel, may their dedication and self-giving be blessed a hundredfold, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the entire community at Good Counsel, may our witness as a community of faith and a school that pursues excellence continue to inspire all those we encounter. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For all of our faithfully departed, and especially our deceased alumni, parents, and benefactors, May the healing power of God's love bring them eternal rest. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. O God, source of all wisdom, may the labor that led to this day prepare us for a happier and holier life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of God's name. 
for our good and the good of all this holy church. Lord, let the spirit of counsel who so wonderfully overshadowed your handmaid, the Blessed Virgin, come upon the gifts we present in worship and make them pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. How generously you poured out the gifts of your Holy Spirit upon the Blessed Virgin Mary to make her worthy to be the mother and companion of the Redeemer. Enlightened by these gifts, she sought your will unceasingly and obeyed it with fidelity. In her canticle of joy, she proclaimed the greatness of your mercy and gave herself wholeheartedly to your wise and loving plan for renewing all things in Christ. Through him, the angels of heaven offer the prayer of adoration as they rejoice in your presence forever. May our voices be one with theirs in their triumphant hymn of praise. are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Donald, our bishop, 
and his assistant bishops, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share with one another a sign of that peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
sisters, eight men are in the desert. But this is the bread come down from heaven. Eat this bread and drink this cup until it will never be hungry.
Seniors, please stand. Class President McNeil Allo will now lead the seniors in reciting the prayer of the graduates. Good morning. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, this morning we come together as one school, one family, and most importantly, one student body to thank you for the past four years we have spent together as Good Council Falcons. This day, we stand in recognition of our accomplishments and our achievements. Grant us the humility to see that all that we are and all that we do is not by our own strength, but by the mercy and love you continually show us. Grant us the strength and wisdom to make decisions that will have a positive impact on us, our communities, and our country. Help us to live the values of simplicity, trust, zeal, compassion, and humility that we have practiced during our years at Our Lady of Good Counsel. Help us to exemplify what it means to be a true, respectful Falcons. We are opening a new chapter in our lives, and by your grace, we will open many more filled with your blessings. It is our prayer that we will never depart from your presence as you guide us along the path of life. Amen. Our Lady of Good Counsel, pray for us. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Let us stand and pray. Lord our God, we have shared in your mysteries on this memorial of Our Lady, Mother of Good Counsel. Grant that we may learn what is pleasing to you and receive salvation from your Son, whom you gave us through the Blessed Virgin Mary to be our wonderful counselor. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to introduce to you the speaker for the class of 2017, Emily Hall. Dr. Barker, Mr. Campbell, members of the administration, faculty and staff, parents and friends, and my fellow members of the class of 2017. I encourage you all to look back about 18 years. The vast majority of our class was born in 1999, and so this day has been 18 years in the making. But more importantly, in 1999, Eminem released his first major label debut album, The Slim Shady LP, with the history-making track, My Name Is. In the opening lines of the single, he raps, my name is what, my name is who, my name is. Well, for him, it's Slim Shady. But to be honest with you, I have little idea on how to answer that question for myself. In those first four lines, Eminem is establishing who he is as an artist for his album debut. And in our four years at Good Counsel, we've been figuring out who we are in preparation for our real world debut. I encourage you all to think back to freshman year. Remember the excitement and the awkwardness of that very first homecoming. Remember trying out for the freshman sports teams or for West Side Story. Remember being asked about joining Camden for the first time and being incredibly confused. We thought we were so cool. 
embedded in that freshman mindset of, I'm in high school now, therefore I'm awesome. And I know it's been a while, but I encourage you all to look back and put yourself in that freshman mentality. Think for a moment. Who were your first friends? Did you meet them during those strength and conditioning intro classes? Or did you sit next to them during convocation mass and during the dulcet tones of Mr. Tamburino singing? <laughs> what was your favorite class? Your favorite club or activity? Favorite teacher? Now, Think about what kind of answers you would give to those questions today. Who are your friends? What are your passions? Who inspires you? I know that my answers to those questions have drastically changed. I would be surprised if they haven't changed for you all as well. It's important to look back and to see who we used to be, because we have changed. There's no doubt about that. We changed because the support of our families, the dedication of our teachers, and the environment of good counsel encouraged growth. We had to learn how to be responsible for ourselves and our work, to be willing to fail, and to become comfortable with the uncomfortable because change is uncomfortable. It's new, it's different, it's scary, but it is a necessity for growth. And so we will continue to change and grow in the years to come. And although I encourage you all to take a step back and see how far you've come, I also urge you to resist the temptation to dwell in the past because all of the people who have encouraged change in us up to this point aren't trapped in the past, they're here. Your parents will continue to support you. Your friends will continue to make you laugh and good counsel will always be a second home. And if their influence is accompanying us into the future, we must be present to recognize it. Yes, the past is known. It is comfortable. It is safe. But we must always remember to look ahead. If we've changed this much already, imagine who we will be in 5, 10, 50 years. Look around. You're sitting next to future artists athletes and academics, future mothers and fathers, future lawyers, doctors, and educators. Imagine all the things you are capable of if you refuse to be uncomfortable in the presence of a challenge. This is what it means to be zealous. In our four years at Good Council, we have had Zavarian values dedicated to each trust, compassion, simplicity, and humility. The only one we have not had is zeal. And so I encourage you all in your coming years as alumni to live with zeal. Endeavor to be enthusiastic, devoted, and passionate about life. Don't limit your experience because of fear of the unknown. Live, live with zeal live to grow because I know we are capable of accomplishing so much in the years to come. So, Eminem, my name is Emily, but it is not who I am. A handful of letters is not enough to label who we have been, who we are, or who we will become. Identity, is never stagnant. It constantly changes, constantly grows. It's a bit like filling in a puzzle, in that each moment is a new piece you try and fit in with the previous ones. Each moment is unique, 
changing the puzzle with every addition. Except you don't know what you're actually making and you don't have all the pieces yet. And sometimes the pieces refuse to fit the way you expected them to. But by now, I think we at least have our corners completed, something to build on. We have our families, our mothers, fathers, twins, and other siblings. We have our personal values, whether they be Zavarian or not. We have our education, and most importantly, we have each other. So our palms may be sweaty, knees weak, arms heavy, but we're figuring out who we are. Who knows what the future may hold? I only know that it will be a change, and I hope that we will all be open enough to embrace whatever those changes may be. I encourage you all to live zealously, live with an open mind, live so as you may grow. So on behalf of my class, thank you for the memories, good counsel, as it is because of them that we are able to look to the future. Congratulations, class of 2017. Godspeed. Thank you, Emily. Because we are in church, because the Blessed Sacrament is reserved here, and because of the large number of students receiving diplomas, in order that all parents may hear their son's or daughter's name read, I ask you to hold your applause until after we award the last diploma. Dr. Barker and Mr. Campbell, by virtue of the authority vested by the State of Maryland, the Archdiocese of Washington, and the Association of Independent Maryland and DC Schools, Our Lady of Good Counsel High School takes great pride in awarding its diplomas to the class of 2017. Karina Rosario Adahar, Noah Kenneth Adams, Zane Alam, Niani Safia Alim. McNeil Allo Naja Allo. Jacqueline Marcela Alvarado. Carla Aranza Alvarez. Benjamin Rolf Anders. Cameron Richard Andrews. James Paul Bailey. Alexander Jose Valladares. Nicole Patricia Ballinger. Natalie Nicole Barahona, Dylan Don Barreto, Brianna Alice Barrett, Matthew Nicholas Berry, Emily Grace Bartlett, Maza Ganet Baye, Luther August Bell the Fourth, Sean Cabia. Bernard, James Andrew Biggins, Grayson Danielle Bird, Shannon Dean Blessing, Juan Andres Beauville, Lauren Renee Boissonnier, Angela Camille Bowles, Hannah Jade Brandes, Claire Tara Bracci, Paulina Clara Bravo, Ryan Paul Briggs, Kaylin Aisling Broder, Rania Tima Ada Brown, Alexander Cornell Brown Cauley, Silvano Domenico Brugnerado, 
Ian Edward Brunk, Clifton Anthony Budd, Deanna Gabrielle Bulk, Catherine Ann Burgess, Mary Elizabeth Burgess, Lindsay Ann Burke, William Robert Burke II, Anne Marie Lenore Bush, Mariella Lynette Cabanillas, Alexander Charles Cabrera, Alexandra Laurie Kane, Caroline Andrea Kane, Claire Kennedy Campbell. Kaylin Alexis Campbell, Mary Margaret Carbonell, Nandi Anika Carson, Dimitri Joseph Cassio, Minali Brienne Chapin, Brittany Gabriella Charles, Natalie Samantha Chavez, Catherine Reshma. Chirilla, Ryan Thomas Clark, William Wayland Coakley, Latal Genya Cohen, Lindsay Nicole Conley, Julia Caitlin Kahn, Joshua Paul Ashton Conti, Shannon Grace Cooney, Christian Harrison Copeland, Zachary Brian Coppett, Neil Emmanuel Meliket Coronado, Daniel Maxwell Cor, Connor Griffin Corsi, Julia Claire Crocker, Anna Christina Zimmerman, Nina Jolie D'Amico, Owen Patrick Lee Daly, Philip Vin Dow, Christopher Malik Davis, Anthony Maurizio Del Buono, Alexandra Marie Deliver, Jenna Madeline DeLeo, Christopher Terence DiMartino, Thibaut Benjamin Emmanuel Denamiel, Jamie Michaela Denton, Christina Marie Deshays, Patrick Michael Diaz, Joseph Edward Deemer, Olivia Catherine Docal, Sophia Donolo, Kaylin Francis Dowdle, George Dean Druyer, Andrew James Dymowski, Ian Parrish Egerman, Everett Oberstar Egerman, Patrick Caleb Ehrman, Ayinde Claude Ely, Sophia Lance Escario, Catherine Grace Estrada, Thomas Jonathan Evers, Olufasola Ayomide Stephanie Femoyiwa, Taylor Victoria Fields, Fernando Candao Fisk, Juliana Veronica Fitzsimmons, Katie Ann Foreman, Juliana Cosette Freshella. Liam Philip Friel, Brian Robert Fries, Colleen Joy Fullerton, Noreen Elise Gannon, Brady Allen Gilliland Daniel, Julian Maury Godding, Luis Anthony Gomez, Joseph Matthew Goodwin, Kyle Thomas Goodwin, Haley Stanton Graham, Brendan Talmage Grass, 
Brian Michael Greenblatt, Jackson Keith Grimes, Jared Thomas Grossnickel, Edwin Ernest Guevara Portillo, Patricia Maria Guichamon, Brandon Andrew Ray Guthrie, Kristen Lenore Hackney, Sara Halimikael, Matthias Taf Tafera Hailu, Connor David Haynes, Emily Ann Hall, James Tyler Hall, Madeline McDonald Hamill, Michael Henry Harrington, Quinton Shane Hernandez, Andrew Eli Hoffpower, Elizabeth Marie Homick, David Allen Houchins, Joseph O'Day Howley, Zachary Stephen Huddleston, Mary Clara Huladay, Mohammed Ibrahim Jr., Jonathan Darnell Imes. Jr. Allison Page Jackson, Aaron Vincent Jarvie, Gabriella Nicole Jimenez, Justin Alexander Johannes, Brandon Anthony Johnson, Imani Nicole Jones, Kara Ashley Judkins. Jackson White Juska, Megan Elizabeth Keller, Madeline Sophia Harrigan. Robert Kwan Kessler, Justin Lee Kibalowski, Richard Derek Kimball, Catherine Mallon Kincaid, Isabella Maria King, Michael Joseph Cohn, Nicholas James Kokotakis, Osiorami Kosonike Kosotamis, Charles John Kozaroski, Antiwanor Faith Holy, Marlene Doris Prismanich. Thomas Spencer Lamb, Jalen Kenneth Lee, Danielle Marion Andrea LeBlanc, Brittany Michelle Lefevre, Aaron Bradfield Leonard, Daniel Edwin Lydiak, Samantha Alexandra Liggett, Tyler James Lightcap, Brandon James Lill, Skyler Gerard Loazzo, Matthew Anthony Lopez, Alexandra Gallup Lutz, Peter Garo Manugian, Ioana Insuk Menzurados. Malik Arrington Marks, Catherine Moore Martin, Cherie Angelique Martin, Natalie Rose Martinez, Chase Alexandra Maselka, Peter William May, Brianna Roche Mayfield, Miguel Antonio Mayo, Helen Mary Claire Bunda, Darian Charles McAfee, Thomas Walter McCabe, Justin Micah McCoy, Taylor Lee McDaniels, Andrew Thomas McGovern, Julia Grace McIntyre, 
William Matthew William McIntyre, Jonathan Noble Mead, Leslie Medina, Sydney Louise Melton, Laura Antoinette Mitri, Luke Francis Miller, Maxwell Logan Miller, Brooke Elizabeth Mills, John Michael Mitchell III, Colleen Marie Morgan, Sarah Nancy Mullen, Brady Daniel Murphy, James Lewis Murphy, Sean Francis Murphy, Sarah Tesfa Mikhail Nahusanai, Travis Otto Nannan, Christiana Remy Nash, Chandler Lauren Newman, Alexander Duithun Nguyen, Kyle Trongbao Nguyen, Noah Miles Nicholson, Chizoba Rachel Nadike, Nadia Naruzi, Vanessa Make Fanwi Niambi, Clinton Ricardo Oates, Mary Grace O'Connor, Elena Nicole O'Hare, Camille Marie Ohan, Gabrielle Nicole Anna Oliver, Conlin William O'Neill, William Alexander O'Neill, Nicholas Marinaccio Opet, Ronald Charles Ori III, Brenna Marie Kirsten Owens. Morgan Alexandra Page, Franklin Alexander Parks, Joshua Ezel Pascal, Alyssa Victoria Peterson, Jake Francis Peter, Catherine Marie Phelan, Brian Dennis Pizamenti Jr., Aaron Marie Pokratsky, Jonah James Poole, Russell Murray Porter, Monty Andrew Powell, Darnell Lawrence Pratt Jr., Alyssa Nicole Pruitt, Lindsay Denise Pulliam, Emma Grace Reynard, Sophia Betty Rebodengo, Samuel Steele Redman, Dana Lynn Reed, Edward Joseph Riley III, Timothy Amon Riley, Joseph Baker Rezash. Kevin Patrick Riley, Maya Monique Riley, Faith Mosna Rizvi, Turner Ellis Roberts, Joshua Leroy Rogers, Nicole Marie Rojas, Margaret Ann Rosberg, Michael Robert Rosenbaum, James Alexander Rudolph, Isabel Arezu Sadegi, Alexis Morgan Sahedi, Jack Michael Salvale, Allison Maria Cristina Sanchez Herrera, Philip Charles Saunders, Matthew Tyler Schick, Eliana Catherine Schifrick, Robert Edward Schilling,
Carmen Conchetta Schwartz, Matthew Carlton Scuderi, Jonathan Michael Seebeck, Benjamin Rohit Sharma, Bryce Murphy Shepherd, Catherine Marie Sherwood, Alden Tepfer Shipley, Anchal Ashish Shukla, Tristan Jeffrey Sinha, Talia Danielle Skiles, Emily Marie Small, Bailey Elizabeth Smith, Jake Eldon Snyder, Charlotte Rose Squires, Stephen Andrew Stanislav, Mia Grazia Sturbini, Molly Catherine Stickle, Donovan Aaron Stone, Alyssa Michelle Sweeney, Justin Philip Sajak, Nicholas Joseph Zott, Catherine Elizabeth Tavetti, Ethan James Turp, Aiden Hammer Teeter, Bailey Lane Thomas, Catherine Allison Thomas, Connor Marcello Thompson, D'Angelo Ahmed Thompson, Caroline Elizabeth Tippett, Mahalet Traore, Kyle William Turner, Ellen Briggs Tuttle, Cameron Alexandra Tyler, Samantha Grace Osborne Vanterhaden, James Dooley Vazana, Alexander Simmons Verdi, Joseph Angelo Vitaliti, Garrett Allen Walker, Jabri Akil Ward Richardson, Cody Stewart Waring, Michael Frank Washington, Nasir Akbar Watkins, Avery Avery Nicole Weber, Casey Philip Weisskopf, Maria Montoya Wharton, Alexa Catherine White, Leanne McCarthy Worthington, Lalo Dereje Yadetta, Matthew Michael Zajak. Ladies and gentlemen, the class of 2017. Please be seated. Each year at graduation, we present special awards of recognition to members of the graduating class. A special award with a focus on academics is the John J. Araha Award, which is awarded to the most improved student over four years. This year, we present this award to Donovan Stone.
The Student Activities Award is in, given in recognition of outstanding extracurricular achievement. This year, it is presented to Patrick Ehrman. As a value-oriented school that is firmly founded in the Zavarian Catholic tradition, Our Lady of Good Counsel High School sets five goals for the growth of each student. These goals, which have been emphasized in our seniors' education over the past four years, include knowledge and growth in the Catholic faith, academic accomplishment, service, leadership, and Christian character. The following awards will recognize the students that have demonstrated outstanding achievement in those areas. The Zavarian Brothers Sponsored Schools Citizenship Award is presented to the graduating senior who best shows the qualities of good American citizenship. This year, we present the award to Jalen Lee. The Cardinal Award is presented in recognition of outstanding religious dedication and achievement over four years. This year, it is awarded to Mary Burgess. The Father Barry Gross Award is presented in recognition of outstanding servant leadership in school and community. This award is presented to Joshua Paschal. Our final awards are named for Zavarian brothers who have made significant contributions to Our Lady of Good Counsel High School. The first of these awards is named for Brother Gregory Turlick, who helped make Our Lady of Good Counsel what it is today. The Brother Gregory Turlick Alumni Award is presented to a graduating senior for outstanding volunteer service to school and community. This year, we proudly present the Brother Gregory Turlick Alumni Award to Catherine Martin. Brother Bonaventure Scully was Our Lady of Good Counsel's longest serving principal. 
The Brother Bonaventure Scully Award is presented to the graduates with the highest cumulative academic rank, the student with the highest GPA, and the student, student with the highest total of quality points in the class. This year, we present the award to four students, Neil Coronado, Mary Carbonell, Sophia Ru Rubidengo, and Andrew Hoffpower. Brother Gerald Edward was a dedicated English teacher and a founding member of the school. The Brother Gerald Edward Award recognizes Our Lady of Good Counsel's outstanding Catholic graduating senior. This year, we present this award to Elizabeth Hummock. Our Lady of Good Counsel's founding principal was Brother Mark McCarthy. The Brother Mark Award is Our Lady of Good Counsel's highest award and is presented to the graduating senior who has given the most of himself or herself to make Our Lady of Good Counsel High School an exceptional school. This year, we proudly present this award to Jackson Juska. At this time, I am pleased to introduce to you the President of Our Lady of Good Counsel High School, Dr. Paul Barker. Present with us today are members of the class of 1967, and we are honored by the presence of these golden falcons still bonded to good counsel 50 years after graduation and returning from as far away as Connecticut, Florida, and California. Until yesterday, many had never set foot on our Olney campus, and some had not seen one another in half a century. Today, they see you in all your promise and dream of five decades ago when they were just like you. So graduates, as you try to wrap your head around what it will be like to be a golden falcon in 2067, let me share. There are 307 of you headed to 108 colleges and universities in 30 states, the District of Columbia, and the United Kingdom, to New Hampshire and Minnesota in the north, south to Florida, Texas, and Alabama, and westward to Arizona, Utah, and California. 99% of you who applied 
have reported acceptance to a four-year college. Bear with me, there's going to be a lot to applaud at the end here. 40% of you will attend private schools. 41% of you will attend one of US News top 100 colleges and universities. 70% of you will head out of state. And lastly, you have shattered three records. Total scholarship dollars, the percentage of the class being offered a scholarship, and the per student average award. 225 of you have provided evidence of awards with a four-year value of $36.5 million. Congratulations. Right now, you are eager for this mass and commencement to draw to a close. You're eager for what is next. Lunch, the beach, the summer. That makes me an obstacle. I ask for your patience. And patience is not an exciting virtue. I think, though, that in these times, it's one we all need. I have three thoughts. First, accept others even when they act differently than you would like. Be patient. I went to New Zealand at Easter to see my parents, doing okay at 91 and 85. My mom, the woman who could get more done by morning tea time than most of us could get done by sunset, is slowing down. And the big difference I saw in the year and a half between visits was how her once quick mind had difficulty finding words. And at first, as she would stop and reach back to find a name, a place, a time, I could feel a nagging impatience. I wasn't proud of it, but waiting was uncomfortable. And I guess that I thought mom's memory ought to measure up to some standard established by me. Things needed to be on my schedule. So no wonder I was impatient. And it did not take long to realize that for all my wishing otherwise, there was no way to speed things up. I think many of us can relate. Do we ever hate to wait? We're eager for everything. Step back. Patience takes root when we realize that other people also have a right to live in this world just as they are. In college and, in be and beyond, there are going to be people who will hold you back, mess up your plans, annoy you with their ideas, not be inclined to do what you want, or be just the way you want them to be. Without patience, you risk making life one irritation after another. Be patient. Second, don't act on impulse. Be patient. We have become so accustomed to instant gratification, we all want what we want when we want it. Even the one-day wait on Amazon Prime can feel like an unendurable delay. Just take your time. Maybe not the eight-year bachelor's degree taking your time. But learn to choose and learn to delay judgment. Realizing the big dreams you have today is going to take time. 
Whether you want to be a surgeon or a chef, a teacher or engineer, patience helps you get good. You've got to be willing to endure failure and frustration if you want to end up with expertise and confidence. Be patient. And lastly, make time to be still. Be patient. The greatest threat to having a spiritual life today might just be distraction. I recently read about the crazy notion of gifting yourself a digital Sabbath. Imagine finding a place in your life to be still, creating a space that lets you breathe. In a world committed to relentless communication, finding a place of silence, a place to pray, seems countercultural. It all takes time, and even more frustratingly, God's answers can take even longer. Maybe you remember from Scripture how God came to Elijah not in a storm or an earthquake or in fire, but in the gentle breeze. If our daily routine is relentlessly busy, distracted, and impatient, we risk missing altogether the voice of God in our lives. As the Varian heritage reminds us, we get formed in the common, ordinary, unspectacular flow of everyday life by a God who never tires of being patient with us. So be patient with yourself, with others, especially your mom and your dad, and in your relationship with God. So that was three things. Accept others for who they are. Avoid acting impulsively. Make time to be still. You have been very patient. Godspeed, class of 2017. Stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he show his face to you. May he keep you in his countenance and bless you each and every day. And may Almighty God continue to watch over you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord and one another.